Being in the alternative media today, especially a small guy, is one of the most challenging things a human being can be involved in. It's not easy to be another zombie. For me, in my opinion, it seems to be easier for others. But for me, the easier, softer way on a level is to tell the truth. But it doesn't mean that it doesn't come without consequences or that people aren't going to try to take your light or take your truth and package it for 1995 plus shipping and handling. And I think that I've done a stellar job at protecting people's anonymity. And this is not done out of fear. I'm just, I'm, I'm in a state of shock that people would attack me the way that they have because I didn't let them walk on me. And what I'm letting some of you know out there is there is such extreme mental instability taking place that people are doing things that are detrimental to their own businesses without getting into detail. They're, they're engaged in activities that can cause people to say things or do things that would really be detrimental to their business and their anonymity. And why people would do things that would be so detrimental to themselves or others is beyond me people that are on serious power trips, people that are spending outrageous amounts of money just so they can have a monopoly over something or have a copyright over something. And I want to see the disenfranchised members of the alternative media community come together. And I don't know what it's going to take. If we discuss off-the-grid, for example, what is it going to take to develop an off-the-grid community my current opinion is several things. First and foremost, for a lot of people, you've got to lose everything to be willing to go off the grid because you might need to be forced off the grid before you go off the grid. At least that was my experience. I also desired it. So it wasn't like I ended up there because I had nowhere else to go. I, I desired that. Something far from a dense population center. And that's exactly what I got, okay? And so I saw that synchronicity, and things like that make me believe in something higher than myself even more. You think about something, think about something a lot, and then it happens. So I find it really sad that there are lows out there in our world that will step on others, talking about things of a spiritual nature, because they think that they're weak. Weak. Mentally weak psychologically weak because they talk about things like a creator. I know a lot of you out there just want to hear the whole story and I have full intentions of telling you the full story one day in a book. I'm also going to talk about my upbringing in a book. I'm going to talk about what it feels like every time an answer defriends me in a book. I'm going to talk about how many years it's been since I've talked to my father in a book. I'm going to talk about all the different times that I got defriended, that I've got kicked out of a home because of my Access TV show in a book. I'm going to talk about all of those women that I dated early on in life that wanted it extra nasty, that had serious issues with intimacy and love. And how in those early, early 20s, I was looking at the new world, new world Order and its effect on relationships. And how twisted we've become as a society. In my book, in my book, I'm going to talk about a lot of things that I haven't. And that's really going to be the better place for some of these things. I'm going to talk about some of my experiences with some of the people in the alternative media and what they're actually like in my book. And I, I foresee a day that the disenfranchised members of the alternative media come together and they really knock it out of the park. And I'll do everything to facilitate that process. Now, I'd love to have an off-the-grid community in the St. Louis Valley where people can come, create media with others, and we can shoot it out there onto the internet. And we can show these conglomerates. We can show these individuals that want to dominate the alternative media. And copyright things like alternative media. And scold my ass via email. 
for saying things like alternative media network, which is a generic term that you cannot own. You cannot own alternative media network. Do you understand, you greedy son of a bitch? I'm sorry. A lot of you guys don't realize how serious... Mac Max Kaiser talks about this copyright infringement thing. And how we need to do away with some of these copyright laws. Should one man be allowed to own an idea? Okay, I'm not trying to go off into the side road ditch. Okay, about legalese. But we have people trying to dominate ideas and copyright them. And it's not just the guy down in Austin. There are others. There are others that say that there should be some other voices heard that are on a larger platform. So they'll come up to people like me and they'll come up to other people in the quote-unquote movement and say, I got a deal for you. Come here, check out my ride and my diamond ring. We're going to reach for the gold ring. Check out my idea. It's brilliant. We're going to come together. And there's going to be enough money for all of us to move forward. Money corrupts. But money can be a tool. And hopefully, hopefully, although I don't like to waste too much time on hope, hopefully the financial opportunities manifest for a lot of us to pull our resources together and to hit it hard and reach a lot more people. I don't even want to get into David Icke. I've been respectful to the man that I had a personal experience, I've been respectful to the man down in Austin that will bar you from his website for life if you have the same first name as him. There are things going on you don't understand because you're not there behind the scenes. You're watching on YouTube. It seems to be a certain way and if people start questioning, they go straight to CIA. They can't even deal with some people are sociopathic freaks. And sometimes you see pools of sociopaths fighting each other, blaming each other as to who's sociopath number one. He's sociopath number one. He's sociopath number one. And in a way, you're trying to figure out as you're observing this sociopathic behavior, which is actually worse. The person that's labeling him a control freak because he wants to dominate the alternative media, or the other one that has the same agenda that will copyright a generic term who doesn't want to provide the media for free. Who will slander the other for giving out the media for free. Because he doesn't like his presentation. I had a book called Zen and the Martial Arts. I had it when I was 12 or 13 when I started doing martial arts. There was a lot of philosophy in that book. And there was a chapter called Extend Your Own Line. Extend your old line, the chapter was about you want to improve what you are doing. You want to improve your game. You do not want to waste time fighting someone else's game or, or cutting back someone else's line. Extend your own line, however you interpret that. You might even find this article online. I'm certain you could find that book on eBay for a buck or something or, or whatever. So, while I'm talking about things, I'm not getting negative with it. I'm not going off on a certain person. I'm not using profanity. I'm talking about things that a lot of you agree with. But I'm reminding you, there are people out there that are telling me what to say. They're telling me not to say certain things. And when I stood up to that person, all those videos were deleted. And I'm suspicious that other things are going on that I may have confirmation about in the future, the near future. And when I do, when I do, then you may hear me speak more about this particular issue. You may hear additional details. But it is just, it is something that you need to be aware of to go back to part one. We're going through major changes now. We see a lot of anger in people. The sun is more active. Some people respond violently. And some people are violent with their energy or their words or they'll attack people emotionally. There's a man that I brought into my home when I lived in Dallas, Texas. 
And there's a couple of videos that none of you guys saw. There were private videos that I shared with him and I shared with the old boss man. And I was basically grieving some of those frustrations I have with the way that basically I'm being treated, talked to, and all those videos being deleted. All because I gave this former employer a piece of my mind in a private YouTube video. I talked a little bit about this on Facebook the other night. Come to find out this was all being monitored from multiple Facebook pages. People that this person was connected with. Greed can do so much to take someone away from true God consciousness. And it's amazing how many people talk about Jesus Christ. And they talk about prayer. And they talk about how they're with the Lord. And they're like sitting with demons that hurt other people. That take advantage of other people. And they hide behind their religious terminology and verbiage to be righteous. I was talking to a guy about two hours ago. His name's Louis B. I go to Louis B. to ask him a question. Someone else sent me. said, you should talk to this person. I was going to ask him a question. Okay. We're talking for a moment. Here's what he says. Do you know who I am? Do you know who I am? He's got the New York accent. He's not well known, but I've heard him in a couple radio shows. You know, a really angry guy from New York. Someone says, though, he's really cool if you get to know him. If you break through that, I should have trusted my gut. I started talking to this guy. This guy was just like, do you know who I am? Like, do you know who I am? It's like, yeah, you're, you're doing that Alex Jones stuff. Really angry. Serious fucking attitude. It wasn't long after that that I said, you know what, I think I got the right, wrong guy. We'll see you later. And I hung up on him. There's something else being said. Oh, yeah. Call me son. And it's all in how you say something. It's not in what's being said. We're not talking about typing text back and forth. There is so much mental illness that's running rampant in the alternative media. And there are so many people that are in this to rise to the top. And it's like watching, it's like watching rats in a sinking ship. Out of these organizations, how many people are dedicating significant portions of their airtime towards what's coming to the U.S.? with the growth of China, with the growth of Russia. The Eastern Bloc, the New World Order, the BRICS, the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, you've heard me say it all before. There's something bigger coming. And it's going to take a lot of people by surprise. And you're going to see who's real and who's not real over the course of the next few years. And I think we've already seen that in the last few years. What I hope a lot of you guys do, a lot of you that are listening to me, you've already done it. And I congratulate you. But for a lot of other people, they got to unplug from being starstruck concerning certain personalities, certain people that are dominant in the alternative media. And I'm not going to let anyone frighten me and tell me I can't say certain things or talk about certain things or there's going to be certain punishments or repercussions like destroying the content that I left on their YouTube channel as punishment, work that I spent a whole year on. I left my home in Portland to help this person in Dallas. I don't know what kind of karma that I've attached to myself for things that I've done, or I don't know what kind of test the Creator's given me, but I have been fucked over again and again and again. Every time I enter these business partnerships, from the Portland Preparedness Center to also being treated like a bitch when I was busting tables at Ruth Chris Steakhouse to what happened down in Dallas. I go off grid. A lot of you didn't understand. You're starting to get the picture now. I value my freedom. I value my dignity. I am a fucking man. I am not someone's bitch. and never will be. And that's the Alex Hansery that every single one of you has come to appreciate, including those that were attracted to me to make me a part of their business or bring me into their business. It was because of that fire and spirit and some just see numbers, and they're hoping that maybe I can rub my hands together and boom, I'm going to lay some golden egg. And that's actually not the case. So I want to thank you for watching, um, and, and this is a, a very serious matter. We'll talk about this more. The reality of life within the alternative 
Media Today. It's a world you should know more about.